What's up everyone? It's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl. And today I'm going to be talking about not Star Wars. I'm going to be talking about a company that I'm pretty sure is worldwide. I'm actually not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure it's worldwide. So I'm going to be talking about Uber. Now, Uber is a company where it's you have an app and it's basically like a taxi that you can just call and it you just have the app, you put your information, it connects to your Facebook or whatever, it has your picture, your credit card, everything. Yeah, you just say, hey, pick me up here, this is where I'm going. You could do pulls, you could do uh, like pick the kind of car you want. If you want it to be more fancy, then it's going to be more expensive and so on and so forth. Now, when I was living in San Francisco, I always had Uber and Lyft on my phone because it's almost impossible to get a taxi in San Francisco unless you're downtown or at the airport. And so Uber was just so much more convenient and I would always do Uber pulls or Lyft lines. I liked Lyft, but I was in college, so I had to do whatever was going to be cheapest. So I always rotated between which one had the lower prices. Now, I haven't lived in San Francisco in over a year now and I haven't had Uber on my, the app on my phone in over a year because I live down in Southern California now and I have my car. I have no need for Uber. But a couple of months ago when Ivan Ortega from uh, Ivan Ortega Film Fix was down visiting and we were off doing shenanigans and whatnot, I was checking my mobile banking and I saw that I had a couple charges for Uber. And I was trying to focus on other things so I wasn't too uh, you know, nitty gritty about getting down to like why I was getting charged from Uber. I did look into it a little bit and I found out that Uber has no customer service. So if you have any kind of problem, you cannot call someone and talk to them. And I, to be completely honest, I do not think that that is legal. It, even though it wasn't that much money that was taken from me, it's still a dollar is a dollar and they took money from me that they shouldn't have. So I tried to, you know, find if I could call. There's no line or there's no number that you can call for customer service because Uber does not have a customer service. They have, and I was able to find one email that you can contact them through. So I sent a very long email explaining, hey, uh, I don't even have Uber on my phone any. Like, I don't have this app. I'm getting charged for Uber in San Francisco. I don't live in San Francisco anymore. I do not have the app on my phone. I can prove during the times that I was supposedly in an Uber that I was actually at my house streaming on my computer. I have evidence and it's all timed as, you know, compared to the time that I was allegedly in this Uber. So I have proof proving that I was not in this Uber. That was not me. Someone is using my card and I need to speak to someone about it. And I sent this very long email. My response was an automated response that says, oh, you might see charges from San Francisco. That is because Uber headquarters are in San Francisco. If you need to reply to this email, just reply in the reply section. So I replied naturally. And I was like, you didn't read my email. I said that I no longer live in San Francisco. I know that your headquarters are in San Francisco because I did live in San Francisco. That is not my problem. My problem is that someone is using my card and I need it fixed and I sent the email. I got an automatic reply saying that the email was not sent because it was sent, it this is not a repliable email. Even though the e previous email from Uber said to reply directly to that email. So I had to go back onto the Uber site where I initially found this email address and email it again and it said that, oh, you have already emailed this so you cannot try emailing it again. And so I tried one of my other email accounts to try to email them and it again, it did not work and it sent me the same email address. So I just got so frustrated. I was like, you know what? It's like 30 bucks. It's not worth my time. This is ridiculous. And I you know, I had other things going on, so I just put it aside. Now, this morning, I woke up and I checked my bank account because I need to start planning for Black Friday and Christmas shopping for my family. So I wanted to, you know, go and look and, like, look at my account, see, like, how much I can spend on people before I go and splurge. And I saw that it was a lot more than $30 this time. I had over $200 worth of charges for Ubers. And... I looked at this and I was like, what the heck was this person doing? Because it was a $5 charge, then another $5 charge, then a $30 charge, then a $17 charge. And this person literally took like 20 Ubers in one night and spent $200 on Uber rides. I, 
so angry this morning when I woke up and of course you know I already know uber doesn't have customer service so I had to go to my bank and I'm waiting at the bank and the bank was very busy and so I'm there and then I finally get to talk to a person and I explain to the woman what's going on and I was like hey you know what uh I've had this problem with Uber before, and this morning I woke up, and I have over $200 worth of charges that aren't mine. She explained to me that the way that, uh, she even told me that the security guard that works at the bank that I go to, he used to drive for Uber, and she said that if, uh, if somebody, like, wanted to complain about it, that he wouldn't get the money, and there is not even a customer service for the Uber drivers, so if somebody says, oh, this person like was a bad driver and they don't have to pay for it and the Uber driver doesn't get the money and she said that he lost a lot of money that way so he stopped driving for Uber. So the fact that it's not just me, it's you know Uber drivers. So somebody is using my card. Somebody has my card information and is using it on Uber rides. I have no way of contacting Uber to letting them know. And the one way that they provide is not even a real email address. It has an automated messaging system that doesn't even read your email. So I 100% do not think that this is legal. I think that that's extremely shady. And for the big company that Uber is, I'm I know that I'm not the only person with a problem like this. So if anyone that watches my videos knows a solution or knows someone that works at Uber that can explain to me why Uber is allowed to not have a customer service system or if anyone knows enough about you know, company policy on what is the minimum amount of customer service that a company is allowed to have because I from just the amount of dealing with Uber, that is completely unacceptable for the company that it is. It, and especially since it's dealing with people that are providing a service that it's not, Uber isn't providing the cars. It's somebody and their own car. What if someone, you know, vandalize their car who do you call if the drivers don't even have a customer service person that they can talk to what about people like me who is card information is being used for other accounts I can't even go on I tried to re-download the uber app and log on to my uber account and I can't get into it anymore so there's no way for me to get into any contact and I asked my friends who still have the app I'm like hey I can't get into the app can you guys find me the number nobody can find one I do not think that it's legal and I don't think it's okay and for a company as big as uber to be running without a customer service department it doesn't make any sense and I don't think that that's legal at all so I just wanted to get this off my chest because I think this is insanely frustrating and if anyone is dealing with uber or if anyone is you still using uber I just want you to be aware that this is the type of company that you are doing business with it's the type of company that doesn't care about not only their customers but the people that are making them the money so I just wanted everyone to be aware of that and if there's anyone that knows any answers to my problem or can help me in any way, please let me know in the comments because this is insanely frustrating and I just, it, I know that I talk a lot about Disney and the way that they're running Lucasfilms, but I'm pretty sure Disney has a customer service department and I'm pretty sure that they handle things really well, what with they have to do with their business as well as, you know, the stores and the amusement parks. I'm sure at least Disney has a customer service department, whereas Uber does not, and I do not think that is legal, and I think that's about the hundredth time I've said this in this video, but it just baffles me that a company as big as Uber does not have a customer service department. How how is that legal? It's so frustrating. But everyone, have a great rest of your day. And may the force be with you because we are going to need it.